Houston Dam spills over the first time in history and how to halt a hurricane. Ladies and gentlemen, Rex Perry Leak Project, how the heck are you out here in San Antonio? Beautiful blue skies today. I'll tell you what I just told you. All right. So I want to share with you some actual articles. And for those of you out there that are having to deal with this mess in Houston, man, my heart goes out to you guys. Are you swimming yet? I would recommend learn to swim. Have you heard that song by Tool? Learn to swim. Get yourself at least a kayak or an inflatable raft, a couple of fishing poles, because you might be able to pull yourself some fish from the middle of the highway out there in Houston. So if you're lucky. But with that said, I do want to share with you. You guys, I got to. You like that? I mean, just in case somebody comes in here and wants to mess with me, I am protected by my microphone. So I just figured I'd upgrade it. You know, I upgraded it. I added some duct tape. I'm joking. I'm joking. Peace to everybody. You know, kumbaya, kumbaya. You know, this, I have laser beams that shoot out of my eyeballs when I get pissed. It's crazy. So, all right, let's check this out. I don't need a stinking bat. All right, so this right here, you can see Houston Reservoir spills over amid continuing flooding while Trump Visits Texas. No, that's that's not symbolic whatsoever, ladies and gentlemen. The Washington Post.com. How about Attic's Dam in Houston floods attics that are downstream from Attic's Dam, less than a foot from spilling over? Well, you know what? If you look back four hours ago, it hadn't spilled over yet. But you know what happened now? Well, it spilled over. Hello! Man, I'm smart. Captain Obvious, check this out right now. This is it, the Addicts Reservoir. There's a whole bunch of addicts down the street, too. They're shooting up. They're messed up. Why do you think that the first reservoir? Anyway, I'm just saying. Okay, bad joke. Buffalo Bayou. Bayou. It's the Bayou. I know. I get it. Pseudo, not suedo. Pseudo, not suedo. So check this out. Here it is. There's a halfway house just down the street, so they have to clear that out real quick. I'm just saying. And then, real convenient, you do have the Army Corps of Engineers there as well. You know, they're keeping everything in order. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. So this is the vicinity. So what happens when this goes into flooding status? They're, they're spilling the water into this area right here. What do they call that? Terry Hershey Park. Oh, I see. And then, as it continues to, to go downstream, these are the wonderful streets and locations. So check this out right here. All right. Where am I going with this? Here is where the hurricane is going with this. And I'm going to show you in just a minute how to halt the hurricane. So why are they even letting this happen? Or are they provoking this? Are they, are they pushing the buttons of the dragon that is entering? So you can see right here. Let's zoom in. Fortunately, remember I showed you guys yesterday, Bay City, which is where that nuclear reactor is, right down here, it's doing good. So, you know, this doesn't look to be too much of a big deal right now. But where is it a big deal? You can see here Houston, and then this is that area that I just showed you guys. Man, I'm starting to like the, the bat microphone stand. It just, you know, I don't know, it's something about it. Holding metal in my hand while I talk to you guys. So, Houston, we have a problem. Literally, Houston, we have a problem. Now, look what's coming behind it. Check this out. You can see, got a bunch of, bunch of love right behind it. Bunch of love right behind it. So, what matters, June 2009, MIT, how to stop, how to halt a hurricane. What matters, June 2009, my journey to engineer the weather this guy's brilliant. He arrived at MIT in 1996, and after two years of frustrating search for big questions and challenges, he heard that Professor Bob, Professor Bob, SCD-74, had been pondering how to modify hurricanes. So Langer is one of the most prolific inventors at MIT with more than 700 patents, some of which became the cornerstone of $100 billion industries. So, wow, that's what I'm talking about. But to make a long story short, you can see the graph right here. Will you just look at it? Just take a look at this. And I'm going to zoom in on this here for you. For your viewing pleasure, 
Here we go. How to halt a hurricane. Well, you dump some stuff in there, and then it just swirls around, and, you know, it stops it, right? Well, in theory. Now, the question is, can they do this? Can they alter hurricanes? Can they stop them? Can they manipulate them? Can they create them? I would have to say yes. Now, how refined are they? I don't know. But I've shown you just yesterday, actually, 40-something-year-old papers that are available for anybody to find on the CIA's website. Just go to CIA.gov. It was funny. This one, this one person was leaving these comments. How do you get access to these CIA documents? How do you? How do you get it? Hmm? She's like, hmm? Hmm? How do you get access to it? Hmm? Well, you can get access to it, too. You just have to type in CIA. Dot gov, and there's a bounty, a plethora of documents that are declassified, Freedom of Information Act, that you can read for yourself. It's good for you, or is it? Or are you a CIA agent now because you have access to declassified documents? Ha 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 ha! Anyway, I digress. I divagate. And thought that was interesting. Keep me posted. Pick up a couple kayaks. Wouldn't it be fun right now? I need to go out to Houston with a kayak and my Sony action cam and just paddle down the highway, you know, with a fishing pole. I don't know if I'm going to eat the fish, though, if I catch it. Would you eat a fish if you pulled it out of the Houston highway with a bunch of water on there? I mean, are there places that there's like several feet worth of water that have even enveloped signs? These are the kind of images that I want to see, not from the mainstream, but from you guys. And uh, with that said, about time for maybe you guys to take a vacation. You know, I'll bet you most of you out there in Houston don't take vacations anyway, right? So now's the perfect time. Take a vacation and have some fun. Go camping. Go camping in uh, Colorado, New Mexico. You could, I even think there's places in Texas you can go camping. There, there are a few places out there in Texas. The Guadalupe National Mountain Range, beautiful. El Capitan, gorgeous out there. Or you could go to Big Bend. I don't know if camping would be very good right now on Padre Island. However, it might be okay. You know, just have to learn to swim. All right. Joking. Bad joke. Bad joke. I'm in San Antonio, so I'm not far away from the storm either. I get it. So be the change you want to see, folks. Question everything if you want to know more.